Which, by the way, you get new abundance of cheese. Uh, just a quick disclaimer before we start, and I don't want to unpause it just in case something bad happens, and I don't know what would because I'm out of the range of any bad guys, but I paranoia. It's always waiting. Um, last time, guys, we um, we beat the uh, the green 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 pig green green pig. I actually can't remember. I think it was <laughs> the pig that was throwing fire at me, and I'm pretty yeah, sure it's, it's the green, green one. Pig, yeah, green pig. Um, so, but it pretty much. Left me, left us with. You, 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 <laughs> so this is a joint venture. Yeah, joint venture, but I'm just here to offer moral <coughs> support and sarcastic comments. That's what I do. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah. Anyway, Damn. fine. <laughs> left me with basically the extra like like zero lives, but it gave me that extra one. You know, like old school video games used to. Um. So we've just gone back now and we've redefeated. The green pig. And Again, he's saying we. This is actually all him. So. Fine, I'm using the royal no, we. No, no, no. I'm, this is good because it goes to show that you were last time you got your ass kicked, but you still won. This time you managed to do it, and you only lost one life, which means you're getting better. Own it. Own your progress. Fine, I destroyed him. Anyway, well, we're, we're, I wouldn't get that. I. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. I don't know why you bother. Either. <laughs> right, anyway, so we're back on four lives, and now I'm literally having no idea where to go. Uh, no, that's not true. Dwarf Village. That's where I want to go. Yes, we're going to go to Dwarf Village first, just because we can. Where the fuck is Dwarf Village? Dwarf Village is... Uh, so obviously, we have my, my, my mouse. I can't talk today. We in there. No, uh, well, go. Can, well, okay, there's not that much need to. Basically, to do it just for the point. I'm a fortune teller who can see people's future experiences. Normally, fortune tellers will only speak to those with high AP levels. But since I'm still in training, I will look at your fortune. See, this kind of annoys me because it, it insinuates that there's like a lot to do here. Right. There's actually only two fortune tellers. <laughs> and basically, the whole point. Sorry, I thought she'd say something else. Yeah, no, I thought she was supposed to say something else as well. Because she's supposed to tell you... Basically, it was the, the point of the fortune tellers is that they tell you where the uh, where the pig bags, pig doors are. Um, do I want to go, yes, go this yeah, way? Do you want to no, go this way? Um, Excuse me, kind yeah, of like, it's, kind of, it's kind of confusing because um, like she implies... like I remember the first time I played it. Like, like with, um, did you ever play Link to the Past? I recognise that and I'm not the sure. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh my Sorry, god, I'm having I one of those days. I don't want to go down, do yeah, I? Yeah, you want to go down. Oh, fuck, that's a jelly thing. Yeah, isn't but it? you also don't want to go in there afterwards. Don't oh no, don't want to go in there. Uh, yeah, so. Um, to like, the left, to like the in left. Link to the Past, like, I, I, I automatically thought, oh, okay, so there's going to be fortune tellers all over the place that are just there to give you a hand. Oh, just move the door. Just to give you a hand, you know, when you get lost. But. Unlike that, there's literally only two. There's her there. And she tells you like four of the pig locations, and then the next we don't meet until pretty much the end of the game. Right. <laughs> and he tells you the rest. So it's kind of pointless. Okay, just just run straight over all this. And don't forget, you've got your grapple as well as all your other abilities, which means you can swing like a monkey. Swing like a bazongi. Ugh. The sound of my tiny lips. But also not. Um, oh shit, that was a mistake. Sorry, yeah, so I can't remember for the life of me. Remember Are we still going left? Yeah, just keep going all the way left. Cause ha! Sucks to be you, spider thingy. Um, we did the American thing, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Uh, 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 when you get to the end, okay. just jump, remember, because you can just fly right uh, uh, Well, I say fly. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, we've already got the crystal ball, that one. Uh, can't go any further left. No, we can. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no, I can. Ah, you tried to fool me, you fucking sly dog thing. I, I think you're know. giving I... this very relatively simple map a bit too much credit. First of all, I have not had enough to eat today. Well, you did bring onion rings. I did bring onion rings, like potato onion rings, like crisp onion rings. Yeah, I, I could have some real onion rings right about here. Oh, I had a burger. I had a burger last night, it was fantastic. Right, oh, here. that was what I was going to say. Yeah, speak to her. No, I, can I open this yet? No. Yes, yes you can. Ah! See, I, I told you they'd, they'd, they'd appear at some point. Uh, so yeah, um, I was 
I was talking to a, <laughs> I was talking to a friend the other day. Da 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 Thousand points, I'll take that. So I was speaking to a friend of a certain friend of mine from Canada, and uh, if you're if you're watching this again, I hope you are, because that would really help. Yes, he he wants to he wants you to to uh, to, to be watching because of you know things supporting us and, yeah. and and you know making this go somewhere. Whereas not I, for me, do it for Finch. Oh, she won't do it for me simply because I'm doing this just to make fun of her. Oh, great! <laughs> so there's another loyal viewer. Also, box. actually, I'm just going to read a couple of the messages that, <laughs> just because it's funny. Um, Tram four star. Tram four star. Remember that one? Okay, first, <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> this isn't okay. Understand that she and I have this kind of relationship where we're basically insulting each other all the time, and I think she might be trying to drag you into the fold because. Um, after okay. I informed her about how the carpet had finally dried, I'm well, just not going to explain. Her. Just tell her that Canada's not a real country. It's fine. You know what? I believe that you are you are deserved that comment because her first comment was, "How can your friend think Jeff Dunham is a genius? Shame on him." Canada is not a real country. Canada is our country. We own Canada. <coughs> but they speak French or certainly Some Eastern so do Canadians. We sometimes. Remember, English is derived from French and Latin. I know Latin, right. and and a little bit of Roman. They might have spoke Latin. Charity wings. That's what I want. Yes. So you know you're gonna go to Dindian Clan, hopefully. Don't worry, you're not gonna go straight there. You go to lift. Ah, oh, lava caves. Yeah. So she, <clears throat> so she asked what the mailman brought us. Did the mailman bring us anything? Yeah. Remember in like first episode, <laughs> first part, uh, we got interrupted by the uh, by the postman. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Such good times. Yeah. Oof. Go back and watch part one. It's very unprofessional, but it's funny it's, as this hell. This is unprofessional. So generally, our, our thing is. Wee! Oh. Damn my goddamn fucking screen. So, yeah, this place, by the way, is all a massive death pit. Right. Which is why the grapple is so important in this, because you can obviously latch onto any of those. Are those pumpkins? Are they pigs? Or bunk flower. That's what you need to collect those. And if you go to your left, you will find the next pig door. Oh, I did not want to do that. Did not want to do that. Bad, it? Bad, oh, saying Bad, oh, saying I'm gonna die. Maybe, but oh, it's exactly the one I was talking about before. So mm. I don't even get the chat like because with the green pig door, I had the chance to not go in. Well, you didn't have to jump on that one solitary little outcropping which has nothing in it except the pig door. You could have gone right where the rest right. of the level. Shit. Well. We've just oh wow I've just been thrown into this I do apologise. Nothing better than just a three minute. The owner of the haunted mansion. Who knows? Who cares? We rule the mansion now. I'm a really bad Dumbledore ripoff. Look at me. He's just happy he's with magic. Got a no cane one. and everything. You're challenging me to a fight. I'll give you a fight you won't likely forget. Oh, oh lord. So yeah. God, I hope the same principles apply. Mm, kind of. Now, as you can see, three different colored platforms there. Where's the bag? There's the bag. The oh wow. That was slightly more extreme than I remember it being. Basically, when the lightning bolt hits one of the platforms, all of the other ones of the same color will also be electrified. Oh god! It gives you a nice telegraph so you can. Oh yeah, the floor is the same. <laughs> so basically, don't well, that's on green. Bullshit. No, it, it's relatively fair. It, it all works in its own little way. Okay, that was my silly fault. I haven't forgotten about you. I will. Rest, I will get the rest of these comments out now that I've. What did the mailman bring you? You know what? You may actually have to take over. No, just not do this one yet. Uh, so, so, so. Oh no! Oh yeah. The other, the other thing she did was I had my first ever quote back at me moment. <laughs> it's literally all. I God, got, that does a lot of damage. All I got I'm was, sorry. Oh, I'm dead. All I got was so much sass. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, if I were emotionally invested, I would have been on the edge of my seat. And I went, that sounds familiar. Or is that just your breakdown of the situation, the conversation we were having? She was like, no, it's something you said. <laughs> like, I do not really remember that, but yeah, fair enough. So that was fun. Anyway, yeah. So that's my shout-out to you. I hope you like it. 
and uh, obviously you're not. Oh, gonna... it's my own city fault. Yeah. This one's moving. Yeah, the problem with Don't this obviously like is you can't throw up, which well, you can throw up if you want to. You threw up those birds, but you know what I mean. Basically, you want him to be on the top of the screen, otherwise you're not going to be able to yeah. get him in there because you can only go left and right. It's extraordinarily gimmicky. It's not the easiest, but it's also not the hardest. I'm dead. No, you're alive. I'm about to die. Oh no! Yes. Basically, stand still until you see the telegraph because you don't want to be. Right. Do you know what? No. I don't know what. I'm going to reload. Oh, okay. That's right. We'll just chalk this one up to a bad. Bad experience. And also, yet another sign of your inability to actually stop. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it's quite. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I kind of. I find it very amusing. Endless hilarity from me trying to tell you not to do something while you're actually doing it. But you know, it's okay. We all learn. Okay, now for some bizarre reason, I've got Mike in the mechanics set. So you're gonna have to go back to um, uh, door, door village. village again. That's why it's easy. So around the corner, effectively. Uh, How can your friend not like Jeff Dunham? I'm sorry. She, because she... Jeff Dunham was funny back in 2010 when, you know, he was new, but he's not that good. I think he's hilarious. I mean, yeah, he's, he's a very talented... His spark of insanity mm -hmm. is just incredible. He's a very, very talented puppeteer, don't get me wrong, and ventriloquist, he's very good at that. But... I don't think as a comedian he's particularly funny. When he's doing his ventriloquist thing, though, I think that's brilliant. Because you forget about the fact that, oh no, I want to go the other way. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is quite impressive. Like, you know, just the little subtle things, like the movement of the hands, just really, like with, with Peanut, for example. To make the character real. Yeah, it does sort of add to it, but again, like, maybe I need to just, maybe I might watch him again sometime. I mean, I've been watching a lot of stand-up again lately, because... That's just a fun thing to do in an evening when you do what I do. Um, like, have you ever watched Simon Amstel? And he was pretty funny. I didn't realize he was gay before that. And then, like, he did, like 90% of his stand up is I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> Here's a hilarious gay situation I've been in. So, he's, he's a funny dude. Ah. Oh, God! You know, um, actually, speaking of comedians, you know, uh, that. You know the Facebook's doing that thing where it's basically saying, uh, "Hey, this is what you've done on this day." You know? Oh yeah, on this day four years ago, whatever the yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I like checking that out mostly because I enjoy seeing all the times it's like you've got nothing <laughs> <laughs> because I do so little on Facebook. But every I mean. now and then I come across something. And uh, the other day I can't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, but I had um, I had uh, a status update that was done. That I was tagged in, which um, was the day that I went to go see Dave Gorman. And Dave Gorman's brilliant. If you haven't ever seen Dave Gorman, watch Dave Gorman. Have you seen Dave Gorman? I haven't. You haven't seen Dave? Oh my god. He's amazing. Like, his style is, is very, very in keeping with my kind of uh, humor. Like, it's all like. Uh, well, the first thing he ever did was a, a book called Are You Dave Gorman? Where, do you know Danny Wallace? No, he's, he's another comedian. Basically, his friend challenged him to meet a lot of people named Dave Gorman. So he basically went on a worldwide hunt for people named Dave Gorman and gathered them all together in, in a little hall. It's a good book. It's very good. You should check it out. And uh, and then after that, he... Uh, oh, this happened way back when we were still in school, because I can remember actually trying this out the first time I saw it. Do you know Google Whacking? Google Whacking? Or do you remember Google Whacking? It's, um, it's pretty much impossible now because there exists websites devoted to Google Whacking, which completely defeats the object. But basically, a Google Whack is when you type in two words into Google and you get one result. Only one result. No, like, you know... Similar, Four million pages you, or anything like that. Literally one result. And that result is a Google Whack. And basically, like, his, his thing was, like, you see? Oh, yeah. And basically, like, this uh, the second thing that he did started off with him receiving an email saying, did you know you were a Google Whack? And uh, he was like, you know, what the hell is a Google Whack? And uh, this guy told him. And he decided to 
let's see if he could find one himself because you know that's what curiosity does that's what i spent a lot of those old it lessons doing when i when i learned about it mm. Tensions. yeah that's what yeah that. just, 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 you know. and uh yeah so basically <coughs> he then gets challenged by the same guy <laughs> um to see if he can meet 10 google wax in a row meaning basically like he has to look for a google wax oh, and then that Google Whack has to find a Google Whack. And then that Google Whack has to find a Google Whack and bait and so on and so forth until he's met 10. Yeah, I'd get some practice in with that because it's a very, very useful tool. Um, Didn't want to do that. But yeah, so the, the, the whole Dave Gorman's Google Whack adventure is like one of the funniest things ever because it's literally just him talking about how he spent about a year of his life. No, within a few months, wasn't it? Um, basically traveling around the world trying to meet people through this improbable thing. Oh no! So the, the grapple can attach to anything in there. It can attach to chests, the weird pumpkin things, to enemies. It's very useful for getting through. You might also actually want the parasol equipped. I forgot to mention, because obviously that slows you down. Doesn't it? But try and collect as many bunk flowers as you can, because they are a certain mystical bird's favorite food. Well then. Well then, indeed. Don't forget, you, you hold your charge weapon. Fire. Third bird. Fire bird. Sorry. Stickler for grammar. I will do it. Excuse me. That was rude. But also not. Because it was a hiccup that I had a bird. Yes. We have all acknowledged the noise. I hope you did too at home. You could have just floated right over to it. I could have. But That's not who I am, man. Yeah, you, okay. you are the man with the power. You love me, up man. I will, I oh will. no, 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 no! You try and chase bad me, bad boy. Me. I will fuck you up. Or will you? I did a little bit. Now this might be hard because A, there's a pig above you, and B, you've got the parasol, but you fall slower than items do. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no! You bastard! Shoot up, shoot up, shoot up, shoot up, too late. Oh, too uh, late. Oh, damn. You need to get quick. When I say a word, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Straight away. Like lightning. Like jump now. I'm doing AO protest. <laughs> I noticed. I noticed. It's fine. I'm not the one who's gonna be stuck here playing this for the rest of the day. Oh, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Remember, I've, I've, I've already completed this twice. Oh. In the time that you were playing. <laughs> That's not a good boast, because it means I've played it twice. I mean, again, like, I'm not saying this game right, because it's a good game, kind of. No. It's just irritating and badly thought out in places. And, like, oh, that's not fair! Like, when it gets down to it, after you've gotten through this place, and one or two other things have happened, like, it becomes so trivial and actually kind of fun no oh got away with that Barely. you know what oh, i can't i can't even g open the menu no because you're grabbing that right? so you jump off and well that was oh, i didn't weird. work as i wanted it to but oh god yeah remember it's not a very good weapon <laughs> not until you get the grapple jack oh no come on Okay, you can shoot that straight up. But you can jump up as well. You can also fly along. Still. Right, nowhere. Now basically directly up. Which might be a little bit tricky, but you can use bad pigs. Bad pigs. Yeah, it's a bit finicky and awkward this place. As I said, there's a ridiculous difficulty spike. Why have no, 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 Let it happen. Do you know what? I don't even want the parasol equipped. Okay. I don't think... No, it's just whatever makes it easier for you. I mean, you're the one who's suffering. I'm suffering. I hate this game. You don't hate this game. Ugh. He's down. trying my frickin' oh god. He's trying my bloody patience. Yeah, no, no, that, that's an absolutely fair assessment of the situation. So so is what you said it um 
Oh, hello. <laughs> what the Oh, okay. Hell? It seems to... Okay, it fucked me up. That was... It fucked me up. Right, reload time. Yeah, that was weird. Just trying not to abuse this gimmick. <laughs> it's useful, but... <clears throat> I think uh, after a while we're going to have to just... Go with it. 